The Queen's main reason for visiting Virginia is to mark the 400th anniversary of the English landing at Jamestown, just as she marked the 350th in 1957. Since then, there has been a major breakthrough. It had previously been assumed that the remains of the first Jamestown fort had been washed away by the river. But in 1994, historians unearthed the long-lost site of the original settlement. Chief archaeologist Bill Kelso, who was behind the discovery, will be the royal guide. You don't say, it's a pleasure to meet you, because she already knows that it's a pleasure to meet her. <laughs> That's OK. I'm not going to bother it. Nothing more. That's it. I just plan to say, your majesty. That's it. He's a world expert on 17th century American forts, but his knowledge of 21st century monarchies is more limited. I had no idea. He was Prince Philippus of Greece and Denmark. All roads have been closed as the Queen's procession of cars heads to historic Jamestown. In this convoy right here, I would say it is about a uh, good 15, maybe 20. Try to keep close as possible so nobody can squeeze in between you and the other car in front of you. And make sure that you keep observe everything on the road and nobody's going to take a pot shot at you. We are at the um, Jamestown dig. Queen's due to arrive in about uh, 45 minutes. We've got the media all in place. And it's actually been really good um, so far, touch wood. Uh, they seem to have got everything. With the Queen present for such an important anniversary, the Vice President has flown in to join the celebrations. Please welcome the 46th Vice President of the United States of America, Dick Cheney. Four centuries ago, more than 100 colonists aboard three small ships were just days from reaching this shore. They'd been at sea nearly five months, and great hardships awaited them on the banks of the James River. Yet from the time of their arrival here, the world would never again be as it was. The royal party moves on to the actual site where the English first settled permanently in America. Dr. Kelso takes Prince Philip and Mrs. Cheney to the vault where some of the remnants of 17th century life are stored. Nearly a million items have now been unearthed. Uh, these are bullet molds. Uh, not, uh, not fingernails. No. no. <laughs> and they had some horses at some stage. Didn't they? they did. There's a lot of equestrian they hardware. Brought, brought horses, or did they find them here? They brought them. No, they didn't find them. They, didn't bring them. Oh, they were here. They were horses. Naturally here. Yeah. Not, not in Virginia. Oh, not in Virginia, yeah. but there were. They were yeah, the, the Spanish had them in the sand. No, no, they were here before the Spaniards got here. I don't think so. Oh, yes, I think so. Really? Is that right? But the horses were looking out. The Spanish arrived. The first the horses Western came across the bridge. But the, the, oh, from Russia. Asia, right? Asia, yeah. That's it. OK. On a state visit, the royal walkabout gives an opportunity for the queen and the duke to meet ordinary people. Subject. They're still British. I read. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I had a most interesting look around. Did you? Yes. 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 They've done a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. I'm a good Manchester fan here. Got a nice little work there. <laughs> Thank you. I well, my husband's been here for about five years, really? and we live in Elmore County. I've been in an interesting place to work. It's been a wonderful place for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. True to character, the Duke ignores protocol. <laughs> oh, you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> you're going to get in all sorts of trouble here. Yeah, when we began the excavation. So you've been interested. I'm a has been. I don't want to get. Prince Philip has separate engagements at a nearby naval base, and he's running late. But he still needs his wife's permission to leave.
to do that. Congratulations. <laughs> the excitement is catching, even behind the press barrier. I got to give trust to my daughter. I didn't even know she knew who the queen was. She kept me up all night last night asking questions if I saw the queen. I said, well, I was kind of far yesterday, but today I'm going to be right there, so I got to give shots for my daughter. I've been a reporter for 22 years, and I got to be honest with you, this is the first time I've actually brought a, cam a camera to an event like this. She is truly a remarkable woman. On every royal visit, it's customary to exchange gifts. The Queen has brought the people of Virginia a specially commissioned replica of a 17th century chair from Suffolk, England, birthplace of Jamestown's founding father. Sitting outside of the hall, which still exists. We've got some on Wonderful. Wonderful. Great. Thank you very much. The hosts have a gift for the Queen, too. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I have. It's quite light, actually. It's nice. A bit of glassware. I didn't pick up exactly what it was. Uh, what it was. It's bars. made in the glass houses. Oh, uh, right. Here yeah. on time. The royal party needs to make up time. This 45-minute event is any indication of what her life is like all the time. It must be really stressful. And to have to account for it almost every single minute of every waking hour. And to do it for, what, over, over half a century? I mean, I just, I, I just think it would be probably the toughest job in the world. <laughs> 